So welcome back to this channel. Uh, my name is Thaddeus and for those of you who are new here, I run this company called TBA, The Bullish Agency, where my team and I help financial education businesses to grow and scale their company with marketing and sales. And uh, today I'll share with you a very interesting story, uh, interesting context, uh, which is actually on, on my journey to discovering more of who I really am. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. So I think for the past few months to maybe even past few years, uh, I have been really been going quite deep into uh, understanding personality types. Uh, this actually came in uh, after one of my team member at TBA. Um, this person is kind of very into personality types, understanding people, psychology, understanding people, people's be human behavior, uh, MBTIs, anagrams, uh, wealth dynamics, uh, different personality type profiles, and all these things. And all these, of course, triggered me to find out who I really am. Um, and also, of course, you know, as I'm on the journey of entrepreneurship, dealing with people, dealing with team members, dealing with clients, I realized I have some strengths, right? Some strengths and also, of course, some weaknesses. Strengths uh, that allow me to thrive, something which I also maybe enjoy more, and also maybe some things which I do not really enjoy um, being uh, as part of the business, right? Maybe it's interacting or um, the day-to-day -day stuff or administrative stuff. Um, so that got me onto the journey of finding out more about myself, uh, even though I am me, <laughs> but I do not really know who am I uh, until I observe my behaviors, until I observe what are my inner thoughts during certain experiences, certain interactions, and that got me really triggered to find out who I really am. Uh, why is it important? Because I think if you understand who you really are, no, um, I think the, the problem, the, the, the reason why I think it's so important is because I think uh, this day and age where social media, it's really in our face, it's so easily accessible, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, uh, we are often consumed, um, we often consume content um, from what people are posting, right? So like, for example, lifestyle, you know, the nice cars, the nice watches, the nice lifestyle, and uh, often it looks good, right? Um, and some people think that that is what they want. Uh, and re very, very rarely, um, inherently, that's what they actually want. Um, I think all of us have their own intrinsic desire. It could be significance, it could be wealth, it could be uh, so many different things based on their experiences, childhood, and so many other variables. Um, but yeah, anyway, so back to the main point of the story is you know, after on the, after looking and, and um, understanding, watching videos, reading some books, uh, taking many, many different tests, um, I have found three things which I, I think uh, kind of describes me and I just want to share it down here um, as a way to kind of document now this journey for my future self. Uh, so this is my first trait, I would say, uh, which is I am an INF, INFP, um, Enneagram type 8. I'm not sure which wing. Um, and I'm also a wealth dynamic uh, creator, creator wealth dynamic uh, test. Uh, in, in a wealth dynamic test, I'm a creator. Um, so the first thing, the first key trait which I realized I have, which is I create meaning and significance means a lot to me, right? And why, and how is this whole thing related to the title of, the, of this video? It's very simply because um, I realized what I have, uh, a trait of mine is I am okay, I am willing, in fact, I desire to suffer for a greater cause, right? So what does this mean? Um, I think in the, entre like in the in entrepreneurship space, uh, so long a vision, a mission uh, deeply resonates with me, I see significance, I see contribution of mine to this, this vision or this mission of say how the world operates, how people behave, uh, it could be how humans work, think, run their companies, um, so long that things that that particular vision mission has significance to me, I am willing to suffer. So suffer could be I don't know, working nonstop for a few months, few days, uh, lack of sleep. Um, it could also be pouring out my capital. Um, I <laughs> I recently even had the thought of um, emptying out my 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 investment portfolio and funding whatever I have. Um, and I think just digress a little bit. So I have been 
mixing around with full-time investors and of course all of them have advocated you know to, to grow your capital uh, with um, investments um, I have a contrarian thought which is um, to actually use that capital that I have uh, to invest in a company instead something that you control over your own business um, but yeah so <laughs> that's me digressing because I think I learned a lot more through that rather than just growing my capital if I were just to invest um, what I really have is just maybe patience and capital uh, but I think if I had to invest it in something that I have control over like a business uh, I would learn a lot more like leadership team culture you know uh, industry insights and whatnot so many so many other different things so anyway back to the point right so uh, me <laughs> suffering for a greater cause um, yeah and what I realized is I would um, or my myself I think I desire to be part of something of huge impact social impact uh, it could be a technological breakthrough social impact solving really big problems in the world poverty or uh, yeah man psychological breakthroughs uh, and really bu- building something that changes the way how things are right now right so i think people which i look up to are people like elon musk, elon musk uh, who has built great great companies like spacex tesla solar city and many many more um, something that really inspires me because he does it not really for the money he doesn't have to work anymore in his life uh and probably able to support the next generation of his family, but he does it uh, because he wants to see the world change, right? He wants to see a, an exciting future ahead of him and his future generations. Um, and think, and I think that that kind of resonates with me. I think Jeff Bezos as well, building Amazon. Amazon is such a huge, huge, huge company right now. It strives to uh, be the top e-commerce platform uh, in the world and of course be known for its uh, customer service excellent customer service uh, customer centric kind of company and also of course um, the CEO of Slack um, Stuart Butterfield I think uh, the product which he created um, really changes how people communicate within organizations companies communities as well and I thought these were some things that brought about huge impact. So I think, again, uh, how this ties into myself is I actually do like um, being part of something uh, uh, a big, something something that, that has of huge uh, impact. And I, to be honest, I think what I realized is I wouldn't mind suffering for a greater cause. Uh, why do I say suffering? Because um, I think last time when I, I was uh, working purely based for money, um, or working based off certain projects that had certain significance to me, I literally am okay with not like uh, with little sleep and uh, just grinding it out, uh, shutting out all the noise, um, have zero time for so for my social life, zero time for for um, many other different things, and just put my hundred percent focus onto that project. Um, and I, I I can't see that as suffering, and I also see certain behaviors in in the past or so which kind of explains that or shows show signs of me being able to suffer. Uh, I think one example, uh, which is pretty weird, which is uh, back in the army, back when I was in serving national service, there's this point of time where I actually fractured my hand and I was okay. I wanted to, to fight uh, the ATAC, which is actually a, a mission uh, in the year two of, of, of my service. Um, and many other examples as well. Yeah, but basically what I realized about myself is um, so long there is a cause, I, I, I live for a cause that I don't mind suffering for. And I think that is what really drives me. That's what really excites me. Um, and also one day I hope um, to have a company which brings um, huge, great impact that can that's worth suffering for, it's worth living for, worth dying for, also even uh, worth putting my blood, sweat, tears in, into this. Um, something which I really am looking forward to. Um, and yeah, how I see things as a, a, a massive skill, something that really excites me. So that's the first thing which I realized about myself. And um, it's really, I'm really excited to see, you know, what kind of future uh, is waiting for me. And yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're watching this and you've got any, any projects which you think is huge, I think kind of excite me, drop me a DM. I'll uh, be keen to have a chat with you. Okay, so next, this is number one. Number two is, I realize also I, I'm a pretty intuitive person. I rely a lot on intuition uh, versus data. So 
uh, my MBTI is uh, the INFP, right? I am more of the uh, intuition. Um, so one thing which I realized, uh, and this also, I think it's, uh, it could be a strength. It could be also a weakness uh, in my, um, in my, in my work. Um, I think on one hand, intuition is very good because it's, uh, it, because I, I deal a lot with marketing and advertising. And of course, uh, you need to have a lot of intuition uh, to make certain decisions because not everything is data driven. Some things, which is, for example, um, connection to human. Re very rarely you have data like numbers for that. Um, I think that's one of my strengths, which is you know being intuitive about all these different things. And I think some people call it the empath, huge empathy, um, strong sense of empathy, connect people at the emotional level, and yeah. But on the other hand, right, which is back into business, uh, which is making certain decisions, making proposing certain projects of how we do things. I'm I realize I'm pretty bad at making data driven decisions, very logical decisions, um, and I recognize that. And of course, I, I have someone to help me with that to complement my my weakness um, or strength. Uh, but there's one thing which I realize, which is I'm a very intuitive person. Um, and one fun fact is uh, recently to an astrology astrology test uh, on May Sims uh, uh, self astrology website and I realized I have this a very, very high level high high element of ESP can't remember exactly what that means and do a quick do quick Google So ESP basically stands for extra sensory perception, uh, which means, I mean, in, in layman terms, it's like kind of sixth sense. Um, something which I realize I do have also. Uh, but again, I, I think I use this a lot in marketing and advertising to kind of guide me through like, you know, what do I think will convert versus what will not convert uh, based, not based off data, but based off intuition. So that's one thing which I realized about myself also. Um, and I think, again, that's a strength and also a weakness. So I'm always constantly finding ways how I can leverage on this strength um, to build on certain projects or to put myself in a role that can, can uh, allow me to thrive in this area. Um, and yeah, so this is number two. And the, the third thing which I also realized I am... Uh, so this was a test which I actually took, um, I think, last early this year. Which I realized, so is this test actually called Wealth Dynamics? If you don't know what that is, um, you can go and check, check it out, wealthdynamics.com, I think, um, which is basically a test that can tell you what is the most natural way of you generating value, creating uh, wealth in both your personal or your organization or your company. Um, and basically, what I realized, I am this type called the creator. And uh, the creator loves to create new things, the creator loves to the creator usually is the ideas person. I uh, love to start new things, very bad at completing and seeing it all the way until the end. There's something that really resonated with. Um, and that is also a problem when it comes to the business, which is I like to create new things. And once uh, once I've created new things, I can't see all the way until the end. And it's especially a big problem when I've created new things and we haven't actually completed and see it to the end. And I've, already started thinking of the next big idea, right? And um, this is bad because my team will always be complaining they're moving too fast. Um, something which I always get frustrated about. Uh, yeah, so, and of course some, some ideas, they don't really fit into the picture and it kind of like moves me in different directions, allows me not to, no, it forces me, not say it forces me, but um, it kind of distracts me from the company's core direction. Uh, it makes me come up with new business ideas, something that is, again, uh, detrimental to the business. So, and yeah, so basically this is the, the, what I want to talk about today. Um, three simple things which I found about myself. Um, and the one thing which I really, really, really found really interesting is uh, I am, I desire to suffer for a great cause, right? So something which I am still on the journey on, 
um, which is to find a cause a mission uh, to actually suffer for, which is, sounds kind of weird. Uh, but speaking on this, I think I I think I've, I've I've spoken with a few people, and a lot of people a lot of people have been talking about um, finding fulfillment, right? So most people rarely find fulfillment after achieving a certain goal. It could be income goal, it could be whatever goal, fitness goal, uh, versus being fulfilled at what you're doing. Right. So in one one hand, it's being fulfilled at what you're doing, and on the other, fulfilled at your goal, uh, the end outcome. And rarely the case is that people feel fulfilled at the end, at least not for a long time, right? Uh, and my some of my mentors also talk about you know being fulfilled uh, at what you do. You you have to love what you do right now, right? The end outcome is now. The future, the promised land is now. Um, something which I have been thinking a lot recently. Um. And I think that works works for some people, um, but I think innately, I think I am still very inclined to finding a great vision, a great uh, mission or so, uh, something that I can envision, see the world in, um, and would love to suffer, not only suffer, but maybe put my whole blood, sweat, tears um, for that thing. And I, I am really excited to see what the future holds and uh, yeah so this is <laughs> an interesting video which i to talk about um, so yeah I think that's all this all for the end of this video if you like this kind of video uh, hit the like button and smash the like button smash the subscribe button and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video so also let, let me know what I, what is your personality types what have you observed about your uh, yourself and what are your strengths what are your weaknesses and um, and yeah, so I will see you in the next video.